so for today's video, I wanted to reach out to a bunch of my absolute favorite content creators here on YouTube and ask them for their like best of the best, top favorite makeup picks. Once I got all the recommendations, I would do a full face of makeup recommendations from these content creators here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Nikki Tutorials did a sort of similar video and I thought it would be really cool to do that within the like natural no makeup makeup beauty space. These are all people that I just have so much respect for. Just really incredibly genuine and talented people that I've gotten to know from being on YouTube. After applying all this makeup, I can't even tell you just like how pretty I feel. So just reinstilled in my head just how much I trust their opinions. So thank you again so, so much to everyone that participated in this big collab video and sent over their recommendations to me. I will leave everyone's information down in the description box. It's going to be a long description box, but please do yourself a favor and go check them out. And before we jump in, if you like today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like me, I would love for you to subscribe as well. So make sure to subscribe. All right. Let's do this. So first starting off with skin prep. You guys know how important skin prep is for me when I'm applying foundation. And for this step, I wanted to reach out to Ted, who is actually a subscriber of mine from a while back, probably when I only had a few thousand subscribers, but we became friends back then. We ended up meeting and the rest is history. He actually has his own Instagram, Buffalo Beauty Boy, but let us see what primer he recommended. Hey everybody, this is Ted, uh, the Buffalo Beauty Boy on Instagram. Huge thank you to Amanda for allowing me to be a part of this. She asked me to share with you my favorite primer and of all of the, it seems like hundreds of primers that I've tried, I always go back to the First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. This is a really like great workhorse product. It does a little bit of everything, but one thing that nobody really talks about is that it sits beautifully under makeup. I'll just rub this all over and then I'm ready to put on my foundation and my bronzer and blush and highlighter and everything in between. So I hope that you all love this product as much as I do. All right guys, here it is. I actually have tried the Ultra Repair Cream before, but it's been a while. I remember it being really good for like super, super dry skin. So I am not opposed to giving this another go. So just warmed it up in my fingers a little bit and we'll get applying. I'm gonna really concentrate it in some of the areas I've been dry recently. This is actually a lot thinner than I remember it being. It's not super, super heavy. It's actually like melting into my skin really nicely. It doesn't feel like it's kind of a mask of moisturizer. It really feels like it's sinking in, which I like. So that's a recipe for a good primer. I found that if a primer is too thick, then it could pill up, but this is really, melting into my skin really nicely. All right, so I'm liking the way my skin is looking thus far. Let's get into foundation. And for foundation, I actually reached out to Shelby Wilson here on YouTube. We tend to like a lot of the same base products. So I was interested in seeing what her favorite foundation was at the moment. Let's see what she says. Hi Amanda. So one reason I love the Bare Pro formula so much is because I feel like it's very versatile. I can go from sheer to full coverage very easily. Most days I just prefer a light coverage, but there are times when I get quite a bit of redness around my nose area and on those days I can count on this foundation to cover that for me but in a very skin-like fashion. I will say that this is a little bit more of a matte finish, which generally I don't prefer, and I know normally you go for dewy as well, but it's a skin-like matte finish, and I feel like some days it just saves me time because I don't even have to set it. Also a very, very long wearing formula, probably the most long wearing in my foundation collection. So I'm wearing it today. You can still see a little bit of my freckles popping through. It's just not a cakey full coverage foundation. Very versatile and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here it is. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I keep saying like, let's see what they think. But in reality, I had to make sure that I bought these products if I didn't have them. And this is one that I haven't tried before. So it is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Long Wear Foundation. I have the shade Fair 01. And I'm pretty sure that this is too light for me, but we are just gonna go with it. I have a turtleneck on anyway, but I'm going to use a sponge and just start to press this into the skin. 
She did say that this was more of a matte finish, so I wanted to go in with a sponge just to give it a little bit more moisture in case it needed it. But right now, first impressions, this is very thin, very, very thin, which I love. I love when a foundation doesn't feel like a lot of product on the skin, and this certainly is one of those foundations. Let me zoom you in a little bit closer. That is better. So yeah, I am noticing that it's also super freaking buildable, which I very much like. I found that if you really want like the most skin-like foundation look, sometimes it's a really good technique to use a more buildable foundation because you can use less product in the areas you don't need it. Like I don't really need it around my jawline. I can really build it up kind of in this cheek area with which is the place I tend to get more red. So it actually ends up looking more skin-like because you're not putting that full coverage product all over the face. I'm really liking this so far. It really looks very, very skin-like. It's really not a fussy product whatsoever. It's blending really nicely. Really am liking this so far. So we're off to a good start with this video. So thank you to Shelby and Ted. Let's move now on into concealer. And I reached out to Sincerely Sarah here on YouTube. She is such a sweetheart, so let's see what she said. Hi, Amanda. First off, I just wanted to say thank you so much for including me in this. I think it is such a cool idea and I can't wait to see the finished video with everyone's suggestions. But for me, for my concealer pick, I think it would be the Undone Beauty Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade 1, the porcelain set, and basically, well, how you're supposed to use it is it kind of has three different levels where one is the most coverage, then one is like a medium coverage, and one is um, a little more sheer coverage. But I kind of just mix it all together and apply it with either my fingers or a sponge. But I just really like this concealer because I have pretty dry skin, and this just is so dewy and hydrating and really melts into the skin. It's a very creamy concealer is how I would describe it. So yeah, I hope you like this concealer and you like my pick. Um, I believe you have dry skin as well, so hopefully you will enjoy it as much as I do. All right, Sarah, so I bought it. Here it is, the Undone Beauty Concealer. And a lot of you were actually asking what I thought about Undone Beauty. So we will find out together what I think. I'm noticing immediately how like creamy it is, but it's still stiff. Definitely an interesting formula. Let's see how it looks. Wow, that's actually, that's more coverage than I was expecting. Cause I just thought of Undone Beauty as like super, super light coverage, but you know, that's definitely bringing the coverage. It's definitely more on the dewy side, which I do like. It's not exaggerating any of my texture, which is great. I have more dry, dark circles, so I really need my concealer to not accentuate that if possible. And then I tapped it in, I'm just going to press it in with my sponge. It's really pretty if you want a little bit more of like a dewy, fresh everyday concealer. I have to say I'm really surprised at the amount of coverage it's offering. It's also building on itself, which I didn't think that a concealer like this would be able to do, so that is awesome. And there's the concealer on. So I am really, really impressed with this. I think a lot of you guys already know that I'm a stickler with concealer. Like, I just feel like my skin hates concealer most of the time. So I really am picky with the ones that I really, really enjoy. But this one is so nice. Super dewy and glowy, really nice for every day. I am going to quickly set my concealer just a touch and then I'll be right back. So honestly, I couldn't be happier with the way that the base is looking right now. Let's keep this train rolling and we'll go into blush. I really want to bring a little bit of color back to my face because I'm looking a little bit blanked out. And I reached out to Matilda here on YouTube. We both really, really love cream blush, so it only felt natural to ask her for her recommendation. Hello there, Amanda. Thank you so much for asking me to be part of this video. I love your work and love that you're a complete cream blush addict too. So it was actually slightly overwhelming trying to pick something for you. We use so many of the same formulas, so I wanted to think of something you might not have tried yet. I'd love to hear what you think of this Danessa Myrick's Vision Flush in the shade Ballet Slippers. This is a 
fantastic multitasker I've fallen in love with recently. It's quite pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way, but it shears out nicely for a peachy wash of color on the cheeks, eyes, and lips. Hope you like it. So glad that she recommended this one because I've been looking at these vision flushes from Vanessa Myricks. Like she mentioned, I have the shade Ballet Slippers here and there we go. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on and work my way up. Super, super soft. And it's working really, really well with this foundation because they're both more of a thin texture. So that so far is a win. Keep blending this out. It's really, really pretty. It actually is reminding me quite a bit of the new blushes from Selena Gomez, the more matte formula, but these are a little bit more sheer. So I think that might make them a little bit easier to work with. The ones from Rare Beauty are pretty pigmented. So the fact that the pigmentation is just a little bit softer with these, I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for some people to use them. Color is definitely a home run for me. I really like it. I mean, for all of these people that I included in today's video, I follow their content. So I know the kind of products they like and I trust their opinions. But especially with something like Cream Blush, I just knew that I would really like this. So thank you, Matilda. I'm really, really excited to keep trying this out. Just really liking how thin and skin-like everything is looking. So let's add a bit of color to my face because God knows I need it. I reached out to Khaki Reviews Beauty here on YouTube and she actually just had her baby. So congratulations, Khaki. That's so freaking exciting. So let's see what she recommends. Hey, Amanda. Thank you so much for including me in your video. So you asked me what my favorite cream bronzer was that I thought you should include in your Get Ready With Me. Pretty sure you already have this one in hand, so I would recommend the Fenty Cheeks Out <laughs> Cream Bronzer in O2. It's so much fun to say, but a biscuit. Boop. Here it is. Yes, I did already have it. This is also a favorite of mine as well. And I really like it because the color for me, you know, someone that's pretty pale, the color looks really natural. I don't always take mine onto the forehead. I think it just looks really flattering. That's like the first place that you get sun up here. It looks really natural when you do it that way. You can see that this bronzer is really nice and creamy. It gave me a little bit more dew to my skin. So thank you so much, Khaki, for the recommendation. Not surprised that we both really like this one. Next, let's move on into the eyes. So for this step, I reached out to State of Kate here on YouTube. Absolutely adore her as well. I mean, I feel like I'm just gonna be saying that throughout this entire video, but I think that she is really a natural at this whole YouTube thing. Let's see what you recommended. Hey Amanda, since you've influenced so many of my eyeshadow purchases, it's only fair that I get to pick yours today. So what I'm recommending is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette, which was recently renamed Oyster Pearl. Not only is this my most worn eyeshadow of all time, but I think you're going to love it because it's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's super creamy and blendable, um, but it's not too pigmented either. So you can do a sheer wash for the daytime or you can build it up if you want. I think it's going to look amazing on you. Thank you, Kate, for enabling me. So here it is. I am so, so excited to put this on. I haven't put it on my lids yet, but I did swatch it. I like couldn't help myself. This color's just straight up my freaking alley. Here it is. I'm just going to take a touch and apply it on. Very much a color that I love. And it's exactly what she was saying. It's definitely not too warm, not too cool. Wow, this is really, really pretty. I'm just gonna take a crease brush from Real Techniques. I do have the shade Mona Lisa from the Eyes to Mesmerize, and I love that one. It's just a little bit dark, so I'm not using it every day, but this is a shade I can see myself using all the time. Absolutely, absolutely adore that. I'm gonna take this tiny little brush. It's the Pro Shadow 18 brush from Sephora, and I feel like this brush is gonna be perfect to just add corner and a lower lash line, just to pull everything together. I love using a detailed brush like this because you can really kind of sculpt this outer area and get like, kind of like a winged out shadow look. I think you guys know I like to do that with my shadow. 
So this brush is really handy. But honestly, I don't even think you really absolutely need a brush with this. This is just so easy to work with. I'm just gonna take a little bit, a little bit more just on the center of the lids. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Okay, before we move any further, I feel like my eyebrows are in need of some serious attention. I reached out to Rainier here on YouTube and asked her what her favorite brow product was because her eyebrows are absolutely incredible. So let's see what she says. Hi Amanda, hi everyone. So I would recommend the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. This stuff is so good at keeping the brows lifted and fluffy and feathery all day long without making them feel like crusty or crunchy. And it's just so good. It does have a little bit of a learning curve and you kind of have to make it work for you. But once you figure that out and get over the learning curve, it's such a good product and one of the best brow waxes I've ever tried personally. And I think it looks so good in your like full fluffy brows, Amanda. It would just look incredible. So yeah, this is one of my favorite products and has been my favorite brow wax for the past like few months now. Honestly, when she said that she liked my eyebrows, I had like a weird fangirl moment. I'm really excited for this step because she actually recommended the Patrick Ta Major Brow. She has the clear version. But when I talked to her, she said that I would probably like the tinted version even more than the clear, which I already had the tinted, so I was excited to hear that. So what I did was I just took a little bit of mist. This is the Used to the People Adaptogen Mist. And I just put a little bit into the pan and I'm taking a spoolie and I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows. I like that the tinted one doesn't have too much tint you know if you get the product outside of the brows it's not gonna look like there's a bunch of tint on your skin i'm honestly surprised that i like this so much just alone without a pencil i think next time i would use a little bit of pencil just in like this area down here because i have a little bit more sparseness there but alone I'm actually really, really impressed. Glad I pulled this back out and she recommended me give it another go. I feel like my eyebrows haven't looked this fluffy in a long while. So next, moving on into highlight, I reached out to Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube. Such a beautiful, articulate YouTuber. Let's see what she recommended. Hey Amanda, cool project. Thank you so much for asking me to be a part of it. And I'm really excited that you asked me about my favorite highlighter because the one that I really love for my cheeks is one that I really, really love. I feel like it's something that I was looking for for a long time and then finally found. I was looking for something that looks wet but dries down completely and then I can mix with cream blushes to cause the whole cheek situation to dry down completely and not budge, but to continue looking wet and glossy throughout the day. The product that I finally found that does that for me is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. I have it in the color Spotlight. I'm wearing it today. I mix it with a cream blush on my cheeks and I also put it all over my lids. It's the only thing that's on my lids. And then I put mascara only on my upper lashes because I have therapy later today and I always ball my eyes out. Thank you so much much again for asking me to be part of this. I can't wait to watch the final product. And here it is. I was super excited that she recommended this one because this also happens to be my favorite cream highlighter as well. I feel like her and I both like a really glossy looking highlight that doesn't look really textured on the skin. And this is absolutely that product. And in person, it doesn't look chunky on the skin. Such a beautiful, beautiful formula. The packaging does suck, which I feel like everyone says that. I continue to repurchase because, I mean, how can you not? I feel like I'm all over the place with this video. Let's go back into the eyes. I reached out to Shaliza from In Search of the Glow on Instagram. I really feel like she deserves more attention. I love her skincare content, but for this video, I wanted her to recommend me a mascara because she has some really incredible lashes. So let's see what that is. Hi Amanda, my recommendation for you is a mascara and it's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. 
It's my favorite because it's super affordable and it gives my lashes a whole lot of volume and a whole lot of length without those pesky flakes that we all hate. All right guys, the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I've heard so many people talk about Essence mascaras and I just never got around to trying them. And here's what the wand looks like. I really like this wand. This is a similar wand to the Rowan Cake Mascara, which is another mascara I've really been liking. That is definitely like a false lash look. You see how fast it is just to get like incredible length and volume, but it doesn't look clumpy. What? What's What's going on? This is what I've been missing. You know when you put on a makeup product and you like look at yourself and you're just like, I just feel really pretty. Right now, I'm so glad that I did this video guys. I just feel really pretty. I know we have more products to go through, but I'm just, I don't know. I just feel really good. Thank you, Shaliza. I really, really love this mascara. So next, let's move on into the lips. So for a lip liner, I asked Kyla here on YouTube for her lip liner recommendation. She has so much potential on this platform. I mean, a lot of these smaller creators that I'm mentioning do, and I just really hope that more people check out their pages. And it turns out that her favorite lip liner is actually my favorite lip liner. So let's find out what that is. Hi, Amanda and Amanda's viewers. I feel really weird and like honored to be here because Amanda is one of the most sweetest, beautiful, kind humans ever. So thank you so much for having me. My name is Kyla Fish and despite the makeup look that I have on today, I am normally a very glossy, dewy, minimal makeup type of person. My absolute favorite lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. I only own one lip liner because I am such like a gloss girl. I rarely wear lip liner, but when I do, it is always this one. It's my absolute favorite and it will probably forever be my favorite. It's the perfect My Lips But Better and she has multiple shades in these which work for a variety of different skin tones. So if you also like me and find me tolerable, I'd love to have y'all on my channel and you get to see a lot of my dog over there too so it's a good time <laughs> thank you amanda i am looking forward to seeing the look that you create and all of the creators that you include on this bye kiddos here we are the pillow talk lip liner honestly lip liner isn't a step that i really experiment with a lot because i really love this pencil so when i reached out to kai i was like oh i'm gonna find a new favorite but she literally had the same favorite as me but honestly it kind of just reaffirmed my love for this one All right, lips are aligned. Let's see what Chessie here on YouTube recommends for lipstick. Hey Amanda, my favorite lipstick of all time is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lipstick in Staunch. It's what I'm wearing right now. It is my perfect pinky brown nude. It's not too pink and it's not too brown and it just is such a good formula. All right, here it is. It is Staunch Matte Lipstick from Anastasia. Chessie has like an amazing complexion and this just looks so pretty on her. I'm really hoping that it looks as good on me as it does on her because it just looks absolutely stunning on her. This color is so pretty. This is like a perfect like 90s fall lip color. Just gonna give this a quick blot. That is such a pretty fall lip color because it has, do you see how it has that touch of orange to it. At least it pulls a little bit on me. That is really, really pretty. And lastly, we have setting spray. So for this, I wanted to reach out to one of my close friends in real life. Her name's Athena. I had to include her in this video because she's just so smart and incredibly funny. I think a lot of you will be able to relate to her. She's super open and honest about mental health, being a mom. I wanted to see what kind of setting spray she uses. So let's see what she said. Hi, my name is Athena. I am so thankful to my beautiful friend Amanda for including me in her product video. My favorite setting spray is by Tula. This one, it's a little bit newer. I love all of their products, so of course I wanted to try this one. And I put it on over top of my makeup and it doesn't dry me out. It dries on with a really pretty glow. So I shake it first. 
and then I hold it out to about and you don't need that much here it is I got it and it's also like kind of glowy and pretty in the bottle so I'm really excited to see how this looks oh my god that smells so good what does that smell like? Strawberry and kiwi extract. So yeah, I'm definitely getting like fruity vibes. Wow, my skin looks so glowy after that, but not like gross glowy. Like it doesn't look like a bunch of glitter. It just looks like super healthy skin. Thank you, Athena. I really, really like this. So this guys is the completed look. I just feel so pretty right now. It is a really good feeling, especially, you know, Going through 2020, it's been so difficult for a lot of us and I wanted to take this video, you know, as an opportunity to just shine some light on some beautiful people that I've connected with on YouTube and Instagram. These are all super talented, smart content creators. I know you guys really will appreciate their content. So I will leave everything, all of their socials down below for you guys to check out. And thank you to everyone that did this video. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe before you guys go and ring the notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever I upload. And with all of that, I will see you in my next one.